Today we're going to be talking about VESPER, which stands for Valence Shell Electron Pair Repulsion. And this is basically going to be how the electrons react because they are of the same charge and how they're going to repulse from each other and how they get as far away from each other as they possibly can. So first thing we're gonna look, like, look at is going to just be a quick cheat sheet for how the different shapes take place, how you can figure them out from the Lewis dot structures and what this actually means. So here on the left hand side, we have the number of atoms around the central atom, which is going to be my steric number. Okay, so if I have two atoms around my central atom, then I'm going to be steric number two. Three um, is going to be steric, uh, steric number three. You can either have atoms around the central atom or a lone pair is going to count uh, for, toward your steric number as well. Four, five, six. Okay, you have a bunch of different options for what this can look like depending on how many lone pairs you have and how many just atoms you have around the central atom. So the lines in here that is going to just be in line with the page, which means it's just going to be flat. A solid wedge is going to be that that image is coming out towards you. And then a dashed wedge is going to be it is going into the page away from you. So we have here the different columns of how many lone pairs we have. And then you can see that we have different uh, names for each of the shapes. So like linear, trigonal planar, tetrahedral, trigonal, bipyramidal, uh, octahedral. Okay, you have lots of different shape options depending on how many uh, atoms you have versus how many lone pairs that you have. So after we looked at that, it is important to know that VSEPR theory is going to be assuming that each atom in a covalent molecule, it's important that this is a covalent molecule as uh, ionic molecules are going to form crystalline structures and they don't have VSEPR shapes. Covalent molecules are going to achieve a geometry, that means a shape, that is going to minimize the repulsion between electrons and the valence shell of that atom. We're going to try to get them as far apart from each other so that they're not pushing as hard as possible. We're trying to uh, make a shape that makes everybody as happy as possible with all of these Vesper shapes. Uh, now there is no direct connection between the molecule's formula and its molecular geometry. However, you can predict its molecular geometry based off of its uh, Lewis dot structure. And lastly, uh, my repulsion is going to be minimized by arranging electrons in opposite directions. So you can see here my repulsion between my uh, valence electrons here that are going to be the lone pair shapes. I have uh, placed them on opposite sides. This is going to minimize the repulsion as they are not very close to each other. And uh, here we have the actual atoms being as far away from each other too. Uh, minimize that repulsion as well.